Hello guys, my name is Kugan. Today our topic is about low pressure system. So basically, what is low pressure system? So the low pressure system happens when the atmospheric pressure or the mean sea level pressure is lower than its surrounding pressure in a particular place. Normally, the low pressure system is associated with the warmer temperature. Due to its warmer temperature, the air becomes less dense and it rise from the ground to the atmosphere. In all low pressure system, at surface level, convergence happens in an anti-clockwise manner at the northern hemisphere, while at the upper level, divergence happens for the rising air in a clockwise manner at the northern hemisphere. Unlike the high pressure system, low pressure systems are not come where they bring severe weather to our atmosphere. Why this happens? Because when the rising air diverge at the upper level, clouds are formed and these clouds eventually turn out to be become rainfalls, thunderstorms and can become more severe. So how do we find the low pressure system in our atmosphere? In a given weather chart, try to look for the lowest sea level pressure and center of the lowest sea level pressure will be the low pressure system. So there are a lot of low pressure system out there. Some of the examples are hurricane, tropical cyclone, mid latitude cyclone, tornadoes, water spot, dust devils and so on. Hi guys, my name is Arvin and today I want to talk about one of the example of low pressure system which is the mid latitude cyclone. So mid latitude cyclone is the cause of most of the stormy weather in the northern hemisphere especially during the winter season. Understanding the their structure and evolution is crucial for predicting significant weather phenomena such as blizzards, flooding rains and severe weather. So what is mid latitude cyclone? mid latitude cyclone is a large travelling atmospheric cyclonic storm up to 2000 km in diameter with center of low atmospheric pressure. So where is it located? It is located between 30 degrees and 60 degrees latitude and since US continental is located in the latitude belt, the cyclonic impacts the weather in US. Now, I want to talk about the formation of cyclogenesis. A mid latitude cyclone is born in a region where there is a strong temperature gradient with force lifting, perhaps an old stationary front which happens at the polar front. An instability or which is also called kink forms which the warm air pushes to the northeast and the cold air pushes to the southwest. This will create the fronts. It takes 12 to 24 hours to develop into major stage which the warm front moves northeast while the cold front moves southwest. The region between the fronts are called warm sector. The low pressure lowers or deepens. Widespread precipitation occurs at warm, warm front and narrow band of precipitation occurs at the cold front. The wind speed increases. The cyclone moves eastward or to northeast. The front starts to oculate because the cold front catches up with the warm front. The storm is most intense now. Triple point is formed where cold, warm and ocular front meet. In the final stage, the warm sector shrinks and the oculation grows. All energy from temperature contrast has been used up. Warm air has been lifted and cold air has sunk. Finally, the region becomes stable.